We're, li we're live here at the Derby City Classic in the, at the Horseshoe Hotel in Elizabeth, Indiana. And this is truly a standing-only crowd, Danny. This is uh, Bill Incanola along with Danny DiLiberto. This is the final match of the one-pocket division of the 17th Annual Derby City Classic. Let me bring you up to date to what's happened here. Alex Pagan-Lyon has just defeated Mike DeShane in the first match of a double of elimination format. He must win this match against Mike DeShane to win the championship. But if Mike DeShane wins, he'll be crowned our champion. Danny, you watch these two players play in the match match. In the last match, what do you think about what's going to happen here? Well, I make Alex big favorite, and he won the all-important first leg. But I got to tell you this. It's not double elimination. It's a buyback. In other words, you don't have to buy back, and then you don't lose two. But it isn't double elimination. Okay. Just to straighten you out, no big deal. It's just almost the same because usually they're going to buy back. But anyway, Alex won the all-important first lag, race to three. This is, I can't explain how important it is. Yeah, when you uh, open up the balls in rack number one, you have to hold service because the race is only the three. And if your opponent can crack your break in rack number one, he becomes a huge favorite to take the title. So, so Pack and Lion must hold service here. But you know what? If the history has, has anything to say about the future, Pack and Lion should hold service here because he's won nine consecutive games against the world's best players, Reyes and Justin Hall, and also Mike DeShane. So yeah. here we go, the final match. Yeah. I kind of can I get an overhead here, please. I kind of like uh, I kind of like sh shooting the seven ball off the ten, putting the cue ball back in the stack. Well, he went behind it. Good recovery there. He left the bank though, the fifteen banks, and it's pretty free. I don't think there's a dead ball. Yeah, I think you're talking about the fourteen ball. No, it's the fifteen. The robin egg blue. And white is the 15, Billy. The 14 is yellow and white. Yellow so, and white. Yeah. So he's shooting the 15 right now, and it's pretty free. If he makes this, he's going to be off to the races. He's not even shooting it. No, he shot the 10, but I don't know what happened. Why didn't he shoot the 15, Billy? Didn't go? Well, I guess he wanted to, to use the stack as a cover. You know, he had the, th had the 10 made it past that 14. I believe it's the 14 still. No, it's uh, the 15, Billy. I swear. Okay. I've done 20-something matches, Billy. If it's the 15, then Mike DeShane's going to have to shoot that into See the it? stack. See the number? Yep, you're correct. It is the 15. Well, Mike's trying to get some balls scorable for himself. I don't see I don't see uh, any aggressive shot for Alex. He may try to position the cue ball behind the stripe. Uh, Mike's hope, Mike's pocket. Off to six. Right. Yeah, he's got a good chance to do that, but he'll be opening some more balls for Mike. Or possibly, I like to have an overhead. I think he may have this shot. He may have this show hit hit the the six into this ball, and the six goes this way, and the and then the cue ball goes forward. But if he's not playing that shot. I don't understand what he's doing here. Yeah, well, that really wasn't that effective. He left the four. I don't think he can, he can afford to shoot the four though, Dan. Well, I think under the circumstances he could, because anytime he gets a shot, he's not going to get many shots at at the. Uh, pocket, but the four banks. 
And he'll get rewarded. I agree. The four does bank. Do you, uh, do you take a gamble here? Because, you know, you're betting the first game on this bank. It all depends how he feels about it. But what you said holds a lot of water, Danny. You know, uh, Pagaline has really been playing brilliantly. He hasn't really given up many shots at all. So therefore, this now becomes a legitimate shot. Yeah, he sold out. He sold out the five. He sold out a bunch. <laughs> He's going to have to watch Alex not get all the way out. Yeah, I thought he should shoot them. The four was a better shot than what he did. You know, he'd like to have it back. Of course. Yeah, Alex is going to make a bunch of balls. I think after the five goes, the 12 passes. Yeah, he's going to get almost all the way out. He's got the six now. I mean the seven. That's the seven. See, the seven and the 15 are the same colors. Well, if he's got an angle, he can go to the 12 right now. That's what he's doing. Well, he got to the 9. The 12 was better. Yeah. I think he's going to shoot the 8 here, You're right. though. You're right. He'll yeah. hit this shot. He'll hit this shot well. Go right straight across the table for position on either the 4 or the 13. He would really like to fall on the 13 here. That's the ball in front of the 11, in front of Mike DeShane's pocket. But the guy that cue ball in between the 6 and the 4, he's going around it. He still would like to get there on the uh, 13, which he hasn't gotten. Well, he can draw straight back now and maybe get on that ball. That's a little risky. Yeah, there's an angle. There's an angle. If he draws straight back, which what's probably what he would like to do, but if he hit that rail underneath that 11, you could find to find yourself falling into the pocket. Let's see how he plays this. Oh, I think the six goes too. I think the 12 goes. So if he yeah. can get around, go forward, two cushions, and then play the 12 next, and then he can use the uh, the ball to the right of the 12 as as his insurance ball. But, of course, after he pockets the 12, I think all balls will open up. He may be too flat to go forward, huh, Dan? No, he's got an angle. You know, it's going to be bigger after he hits it. I think the 6 went, but he didn't get there, I don't think. He's, no, the 6 didn't go. He's playing the 12. He's playing the 6, Billy. The 6? Well, that goes then. Yeah, he like could have shot it just now. It didn't look like a good... It, it, it uh, might have been a better shot just now. Now he went up there. Boy, he's hitting balls good. That is not as easy as it looked. No, when, when you're ever, whenever you're that close to a cushion with the cue ball, when you hit the cue ball as accurately as he does, then you can start yeah. making balls like that with consistency. He's got it, five. Yeah, it all has to do with, with your ability to strike the cue ball. He would have liked to play, end up with a shot on the 12. I don't know if he can afford to shoot the 12. He's really pretty pretty steep on the 12. If he shoots the 9, all balls go towards De Deshane's pocket. He doesn't want to see that happen. Therefore, either he shoots the, the, the 12 and opens up the balls from his pocket, or he just rolls the 9 in softly. I like rolling this in softly. He might have the three next. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm it saying. didn't it just, come out no good. It was, uh, I, I kind of like rolling that one in softly and keeping the balls a little bit. Well, intact. he's got six, and he could duck behind the balls off the 15. You know, off the 15, go behind the 13 and 11, right bank the, bank the 15 on your side and go down behind those balls. And like Danny said, get that 15 on your side. Just yep. like this. That's right. Get it and duck behind those balls. Make it very difficult for Kashane to walk away from the table in good with a good uh, position. Yeah, Mike would love to have something to shoot at right now. Yeah, he's got a problem right here. He does. Yeah, he's going to leave something. Unless he's going to duck on the wrong side of the balls. That's what he's doing. I always knock that. Uh, 
actually. Not very a bad hit. That's a very intelligent shot that he just shot. He left them pretty much parallel with the balls in front of his pocket, which well, actually makes this particular, you know, uh, inning for uh, well, for for Pack and Line difficult. Alex is going to come off the two on the left side and fall back behind the nine and uh, thirteen. Well, he, I don't think he can do that. I think he could. Very thin. He's got it. I think he's got it, Billy. Now he's straight in, then he he can't do that. He can't cut the two on the left side. No, he, he's I too think thin. he could, Billy. Okay. Well, let's see what he thinks. I kind of like shooting the one and dropping underneath the thirteen and, and fifteen or fourteen, whatever that ball is. Oh, that's tough to do. I mean, he's shooting my shot, Billy. If he can do it, I don't band the two and go behind the balls. I don't think he can do that. Oh, he he, he just kicked it there. Right. He couldn't do yeah, He couldn't lost do one, but it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's not really uh, reluctant to taking intentionals because with the uh, with his ability in terms of running balls and, or making shots yeah that means one ball doesn't mean anything to him mean he thing. understands the importance of not giving up his position or not keep putting Mike DeShane in a good he, position he understands how easier it is to put the cue ball somewhere taking a scratch than going off a ball oh uh, we're going to see a bank we're going to see a shot the 13 banking at the 11 I believe no, I don't think so. You don't? No, because what's he going to do with the cue ball? It's going to go one rail and hit the nine or the 14. I think he's got that shot, Billy, but let's see what he thinks. That's a pretty risky shot with him with the lead. I don't think he's going to try that. I think he's going to maybe bank the 12 and try, put that cue ball on that side cushion. Get the 12 out of there. All balls are positioned really nicely for DeShane. You know, he's oh. facing a uh, yeah, you can't make a, a deficit of five balls to nothing. And, and Pag and Lyon shouldn't take any unnecessary chances. Yeah, he's back in the 12 over, putting behind the 13 here. Good shot. He, yeah, he didn't want to leave him that right back on the two. That's why he needed to position the cue ball near that side rail. I think the Shane should go ahead and bank that two, send the cue ball into that one. He's trailing five to nothing. He can execute this shot, but if he happens to hit the eight on the way over after banking the two, he's going to probably lose game one. Well, he don't want to hit the 12 and eight. Perfect shot. No. He better make it because he, he, sold out. he misplayed the cue ball. And yeah. He hit that shot too hard, and he didn't he didn't really spin it. And this is game number one. It looks like it's going to go to Paggy Lyon. Yeah, he needs three. And there's five open. Yeah, he went to those upstream first. Right, there's no reason to play position. He's three. Right. He's going to get him right here. 12 and then the three. Game number one does go to Pagaline, and he takes the early lead in a race to three. One game to zero, and he did make good with his break. It was important for him to do that. Now that's 10 consecutive games he's won today. <laughs> he's playing good. He really is. I like to uh, go back to where he had that opening shot after DeShane made the mistake. He played position for the correct ball. A lot of players would have played position for the three on the second shot, which was would have been a mistake. That way, if you play position for the three, then you got to play position again off the three. But you had the angle to drop high on the balls. That ensured him... That assured him the... Uh, well, Mike, the if you're going to have any to chance, out. you're going to have to win on your break. That's not a great break. No, the ball didn't really open up well for him. <laughs> you 
you know, he's, uh, he, he should just suck, suck the cue ball back about, about six inches, leave it on that cushion, and get that nine on his side. You really don't want to go all the way down table. I think that's a mistake. Off the nine, sending the cue ball under the three. I don't like that shot because you end up putting the nine back on his side again. And possibly leaving him a bank on the 13. I like just back at the nine to your side with a nice little stroke, sending the cue ball to the center diamond. Well, he, he went, went all, all the way, way down. back. He yeah. did it pretty good. Yeah, well, if you hit it that good, you know. But still, you know, uh, the nine still went back on his side. You were you were right about that part. Yeah, well, he could have sold out of the bank as well. But it, it, let's see, he, even though he hit it as well as he hit it, I still like the cue ball by the side cushion. Gonna to drop to the bottom rail. You know, maybe go one rail with this into the three. Try to drop to the bottom rail. Oh, oh that's a better shot. shot. Yeah, much better <laughs> shot. <laughs> Look at that. Much better shot. Very creative. Oh. Yeah, he's happy with what he just did. That was oh. a good shot. Excellent shot. Yeah, Mike. The whole game might go like this. That's why I wanted him to shoot a little while ago, because he might not get many shots. Well, does he have space? I think he can bank the 13 if he has space. He can bank the 15, but does he have... No, he doesn't have any space. I think he's going to lock him up in the stack again. Yeah. He's going to shoot the 11 and probably position the cue ball in the stack. He'll move the two balls from the same side of the table, put them in that stack, lock them up here. Yeah. Just like that. <laughs> the Shane's yeah. are going to get tired of seeing this. Mm -hmm. He's one of those people that wants to shoot. Oh, he's getting put in jail, and he broke on in this one. And the more I see this happening, the more I watch what's going on out there, the more I agree with what you said, your assessment in game number one about DeShane banking that four ball when he had the opportunity. Oh, yeah, you got it. You're the underdog, man. And you get a chance to shoot, shoot. Oh, this isn't going to turn out too good. Not at all. Well, I know the Paggy Lion can... Uh, Shoot off the seven or the six ball and stick them back on the red three. I mean, that's one shot for openers. I don't know what else is Well, available. that's actually the five, but I do that too. The five and the three look too close to me. I call the five the three, the three the five. Yeah. But he can shoot this and, and draw it back. Right. And he's going to stick them on the red colored ball. It is the five. He backed up off the shot like the, he didn't like it. I don't understand. Why he doesn't like it? Maybe he just wanted to make sure. Yeah, he's going to come back. Okay. Kept it on his side too. Yeah. Yeah, Deshane's got some problems here. I don't he, know. Could he hit the uh, eleven ball? Probably not. He can hit the six. Yeah, he can't do anything aggressive. And they're not froze. This is a foul if he pushes. No, he didn't. Well, he left at 14, didn't he? Am I going blind? He left the 14. No, that's, this, that's, is, uh, this is his pocket over here. 
Yeah, I think he's shooting the 14. What do you mean? This is his pocket here. Oh, okay. I thought the right-hand pocket was his. Because we were talking about how good it breaks. Yep. Pegalion has the pocket where the 15 is hanging. Did I use my extension? Not yet, right? You have an extension. Well, he could uh, shoot this straight on and put him right back against the 12. Yeah, but he's got to get back, which he yeah, did. He did. Because that 11 ball was, that, uh, I believe that's yeah. the 11 or yeah. the 13 or whatever. It's the 13, is. but he did it. Yeah, he couldn't afford to let him see that 13, so he had to get that cue ball back, snuggled up against that 10, which he did. Very nicely executed shot. Those little it shots was. like that, you know, when you pinch it, they're very difficult shots, especially when you have to Yeah, you elevate. can easily foul them. Yeah. But, uh, of course, these players, Peggy Line and DeShane, very adverse to shooting shots like that. Well, with, if he uh, um, the banks the uh, nine on his side, what does he leave? Bank it on your side and lay on the rail. What, what does he sell out there? Well, if he can then come off the 13 and put him behind a 15. Yeah, you know. let him try because he could also leave a bank on that 13, too. Well, he doesn't have much to do. I like that shot. And what he, where he would really like to get him, if you give me an overhead, I'll tell you where he would like to get him. He would like to position this cue ball down here somewhere. That's where he really wants to get him. But getting there is another thing. That's the best place on the table to be for him. He doesn't want to sell out a shot on the 11, even though it's a difficult shot. He wasn't. He doesn't want to give DeShane the opportunity to steal the game. Now, he's going to shoot your shot, but if he shoots that shot, he's giving him an out on that 13 ball, which I feel is a very easy out. Okay, That's, but I got to let him do it. I don't think... I, he might be better off just taking a scratch and shooting him down where I, where I pointed. Well, how about shooting the 13 and drawing the ball right back to the 10? You see the shot? 10 seconds. Yeah, he's going to shoot my shot. Pretty good shot. You know, he's got a, he, he, uh, he's got he's got a pretty difficult angle. You now he can kick to the to the fifteen, but he might sell out the uh, thirteen. Well, is the ten dead? The one ten. He's shooting it. Yeah, he might kick at that. Better go or you're done. Oh my! Look at this. See you later. He's no, got, it looks like the, he may have the one. He's got the one well, combination. Has a half a pocket. Yeah, he's got the one at the at the fifteen too, or he could shoot the seven straight on. Protect that fifteen. Don't let him see a shot on the fifteen. Yeah, Alex doesn't have to shoot here. Well, he stepped. He, he, his step went faster, so he saw something. Yeah, you know, he's playing the combination, Billy. And he's probably going to make the seven in the, the, the same with the same shot. Yeah, great shot. See? He played the billiard because he's good shot. You know, so adept at understanding where the cue ball is going that he felt that it was a free shot because he was going to play the billiard on the. On it, the seven ball, if he has to make the shot. combination. Yeah, yeah. it was good off. thinking. He's thinking straight. Well, he's going to shoot the three and try to kick the 15 away. Reset the clock to zero. Was he talking to us? <laughs> no, he can go behind the 15 off the three. It looks like that would be a good option. Now, you got to be careful here because 
A little bit of risk involved with this shot. He could hit that 15 and scratch, so he's going to be careful. He's not shooting that hard. Pretty good hit, but I think he left the shot at the 10. I don't mean a total bank, but he can hit the 10. Yeah, I believe he can do something with the 10. You don't want to leave the 10 there. He can bank the 10 on his side and go behind the 13. Well, no, he's gotten pretty That's low. That's what he did. He got pretty low. I, I don't know. He might be able to move both balls away now, but he got too low. You know, that, uh, yeah, but if he moves those, he's going to leave a bank on the 13. If he draws back, I think that he can, uh, you know, they can get away from that. But the position of the 15 is in a pretty tough position on the table to control it off of. I think he can cut it to 15 and go behind the one and seven. I don't mean go all out, but he can put this ball near the pocket. That's certainly an option. Yeah, and go behind the one and seven. That's what he's going to do, I believe. He might make this, Billy. Oh, he went all out to make it. Well, he left a shot on the one. It's no gimme, but it looks free. Yeah, that it does. Okay, while he's looking, I got to mention that the Shane has a good backer with OBQs. Well, he better make this if he shoots it. He made it. All right. He can get in this match now, Billy. That was the first ball made in the rack. The Shane Trails won the game to zero, race to three. This is for the championship. That's the second well, you know, ball. He's playing shape for the seven ball. The Shane wound up in this spot without a loss. So you know he's playing pretty good. No, he has an angle on the seven ball to possibly go into the 15 here softly. Oh, yeah. If he splits these, he'll, he'll have the nine next. No. I kind of like going toward the 15 It looked like you could. Yeah. He didn't have to draw to the rail. <sighs> and knock this on his side down stick there. Got three balls. He just come off the seven or the six, that is. Go toward the pocket with the cue ball. Try to leap distance. Watch out. Watch out. He scratched. I said go toward the pocket, not in the pocket. Obviously, he didn't hear me. This is the chances that Mike has. If he gets a shot like this, ball in hand, he's going to get a bunch of balls. Packy line staring at the table saying, how did I do that? Well, how did you win 10 consecutive games? That's a better <laughs> question. But of course. He's going to get some points here. Yeah. That's number four. He's a little awkward on this ball. Yeah, he got straight. He could have very easily kept an angle on it. So he's going to have to draw back here. By drawing back, you got to hit the center of the pocket because this ball now becomes missable, which he didn't miss. Now he's got another fairly difficult shot of the six ball here, and uh, one that carries a little bit of a penalty if he happened not to put it down. Now the question is, do you shoot or do you pass? Oh, he's going to shoot. He Back says to he what shoots. we said, you get a shot, you better shoot, Mike, because you're the underdog. He shoots straight. I expect him to make it. Yeah, he's the underdog, but with the uh, lead that he's uh, surmount uh, that he's uh, uh, maybe he isn't the underdog, but uh, he shot and he not made it. He would have been the underdog. 
Well, he, he's going to break Alex's serve. That's very big. Now he's just going to knock this on his side. He's not cutting it. No, he, he broke the ball with this rack. This is rack number two. Alex broke him with rack oh, number one. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, he did break this rack. And he's the master five to zero lead here. Or six zero. Six to zero. Actually, it's six to minus one. It is. Because he scratched for Alec, for Mike to get that shot. I kind of like this lagging up table by where the nine is. That's the ball he wants to hit. Yeah, yeah he can cut the four and do that. I mean, he just straight at the nine. You don't need to cut anything. And maybe he probably didn't, wasn't able to see the nine. He wasn't. See, that's where he but wants he to be. But he got there anyway. That's where he wanted to be. But he would have liked to have kept the four down there. And he had the option to do that, which obviously he didn't. Now, the Shane, uh, his job is to keep balls out of play, but most importantly... Well, if he's had him in trouble to get to the end rail, he can get the bridge and go off the nine. Go two rails down to that corner. That's a pretty big stretch there. Well, he can do it with the bridge. He's going to two rail the 12 on his side, maybe. Uh, I don't think he can see the 12. Well, he looks like he's going that way. No, he's going to softly off the two. I he's going to kick at the 12. Oh. oh, he went off the two, but I don't know about this. I don't know. He, I, I don't he, like he this left, shot. He left the combination, and he left the two-railer on the 14. Right, he left the two-railer on the 14. He may even have left a cut shot on the 12. Oh, he did. He left the combination. No, the cut on the 12. Oh, you mean just shooting the 12? Maybe. No. I'm not sure. I, I'm not I sure. think the 212 is a better shot. And then he's going upstream for the 14. Everything. He can get a bunch of balls. Oh, he's, he's cutting right at it. You're right. And he's making it, too. Well, he really didn't have the speed no. that was conducive to playing position with that cut shot. But, nevertheless, he made the cut shot. And he's down, back down to even. Six balls for DeShane, even Pagulion. Rack number two. Pagulion leads one to nothing, race to three. Now, the four banks. I don't know what kind of an angle he has, but the four does bank if he chooses to shoot it. It's a risky shot because... It's a difficult shot to control the cue ball off of. He's maybe double banking this with a high ball. Uh, that ain't worth it. Watch the, Watch the pocket. Watch the pocket. He's shooting at one ball, but he made it. <laughs> People love that. But now he has a double bank on the nine if he chooses to shoot that. And he may be able to draw the cue ball behind the red three. That shot is there. It's, it's a 14, Billy. The nine, isn't it the nine on the rail? The nine is on the end rail. Yeah, uh, hey, it's a double bank on that ball. Oh, uh, I thought this ball was the ball. Hey, let's see that two rail around the two. That's a great shot. The people loved it. Perfect. Never a doubt. DeShane obviously wants to shoot that spotted ball, but but leading six balls to one, very, very advisable to do that. Well, he's only going to shoot that one ball. That's no good. He can bank the 14, but he can knock it away, too. Well, now Pagaline will bank the four ball. Yeah, I think Mike's playing a little bit cautious, considering that he's going to get outmoved. Well, he's not backing the four. He's up pocketing the five to put two balls on the foot spot. Oh, he scratched. No, he's fine. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I think the Shane's going to bank the red three here. He could bank it or kick it. I think he could kick under it. 
You know, I, uh, does it, whichever shot has better control of the object ball because it's important for him to control the object ball in this shot. He wants to get it close to his pocket because he doesn't want Packy Lyon to step to the table to put another ball down table. So he wants to get this ball close to his pocket. Well, he didn't do that. Now Packy Lyon, if it drops on that arm and rail, Packy Lyon can put another ball down table. I thought this Shane shot a pretty good shot because now Packy Lyon's preoccupied with moving this red ball as opposed to putting another ball down table, a plan that he wanted to do, but is unable. He three railed it. Excellent Look how good hit. he hit it, Billy. Excellent hit. It's in. Excellent hit. Mamma mia. Excellent hit. He's got the poor now. I think he can cut at the poor. It's thin, but I think he's got it. Pretty risky shot. Yeah. Well, I, what are you going to sell out? You Pretty would have to really sell he out. Be, he might double bank the four. Yeah, he does have that. That's where he pointed his yeah. cue. I think he's better. He's got a better shot yeah. at double banking, but he can't afford to run into the spotted balls here. He's got to hit this long. He can't afford to go into this. That's right. Yeah, let's see the three rather that he just. This shot requires the, a pure hit. <laughs> it and that's was exactly pure. what he did. Notice how closely the cue ball came to contacting the three off the second rail. The cue ball that is. In the meantime, he positioned the cue ball ideally. He protected the ball that he moved down table. It was very important for him to do that. Now he can start putting other balls down table. He's trailing in this game six balls to two. He needs balls down table. And that last shot, okay, gave, has given him the opportunity to follow through with his plan. Is he banking this? He's banking it to his pocket. Yeah. Well, he ran He's into lucky he hit the nine. He's lucky it hit the nine, or yeah. else he would have left him a cross corner bank on it because he didn't have the speed that it needed to have. Well, Alex to get has to got the table. a good shot on the eight. He's got a good shot. He might even go to the 14. Makes this. He did. Well, he didn't make it. No, he got it near the pocket. Right. But he's gotten uh, the shade in trouble here. He's got a ball on the short rail and a ball by his pocket against the side rail. Very difficult situation for DeShane here. Yeah, if he kicks the eight away, he can possibly leave a bank on the 14. He wants to go to the four. Well, this is a very difficult situation. Now, now Pagaline is going to put another ball down the table. He'll probably bank the 10 here, try to position the cue ball on the side well, what's rail. What's wrong with banking the 14? Well, he may sell out the nine. No, there isn't that much angle. Well. No, I think he can bank the uh, 14 without okay. selling out. He hit that one pretty Gee, good, too. Wow, you, don't, you can't hit that ball any better than that. He hit it good. Well, is the shame warming up to shoot the 10? Yeah. Well, if he shoots the 10, I think he's making a huge mistake. Yeah, he'll let Pagalon right into this game. He's betting, he's betting an awful lot in this shot. And he's shooting that one ball. This is not my shot, but he's an excellent shot maker. He's the guy at the table. He can feel it. He's the one at the table, and he can feel it. And he made it. He's he felt got the it. nine now. Yeah, he felt it. You know what? You got to take your hat off to that. He needs one. Well, I've been saying it all match. You got to shoot at the pocket when you get a shot, because you're not going to outmove Alex. It looks like it may he not. Overcut it. It may not go in. He overcut it. We're going to see a match now. I believe he can make the 15, Danny. He's straight in on it. 
What he's going to need to do is suck it back for the eighth. Now, this it's is a shot. It's a support shot. team, Billy, but it's okay. It's all right. This is a shot that requires a pure hit. If he draws it back for the eight. He's the, playing the combination to well, start well, with. Okay. If it's Don't four, miss it. The, four, he, the 14's in a big ball position here. Made it. Well, we got a match now. You know, eventually he could follow the nine right in. You'd go for the breakout here? No, I don't think so. Because you might... Well, he did, but... Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good now. He can get to seven, actually. He's going two rails to the five. After DeShane pocketed the ten ball, I thought this game was over. <laughs> Look because at the shot he had on the nine wasn't nearly as difficult as the shot he made with the 10. Pagaline at the table looking to get on the hill along with the Shane you if better, he pockets the next two balls. You better make the 12 because you can't follow the 9 in. Look at that speed, Billy. Look at that. Look at that direction. Are speed. you kidding me? He's Beautiful. got the cue ball on his string. Now he's going to end up kicking behind the 13 or the 9, that is, to get it out of there. Well, you better make the ball first. I got no clue. He's won 10 consecutive games. And when you think he's out of the game, think again. Because this guy can flat out play. He's definitely the best player in this tournament up to this point. Wow. He's brushed his feet in the way in. Sorry, and it I fell. It. Sorry, bro. Interesting. Does he kick behind it here? I don't well, you better not do it hard. I think he can just do it softly. No, he's got to kick with a stroke. Ah, uh, no, he sold out of bank. Did he scratch? Oh, no. How did the ball keep going? You know, there's a lot of pressure on DeShane. Even though he has ball in hand, Danny, this shot carries a lot of pressure because he's lost four consecutive games to Peggy Lyon and he had missed the game ball on the nine before. Even though he has ball in hand, he's this grinning. Is no gimme. <laughs> he's grinning. No gimme here. Now he'll make it, Billy. Let's find out. It's a pretty easy shot. Finally, Pagaline's string of consecutive wins have been, has been snapped. Pagaline has won 10 consecutive games before losing one. This is the final match. Race to three. He's smiling. It's all tied up. One game apiece. He's smiling and he's saying, I could win a game. And he did. Let's see that scratch again, because it didn't look like the ball was ever going to reach that corner, but... It hit the it. rail. It hit yeah, the rail. It picked up speed. It, it stayed there. It stayed near the rail after hitting the rail. I would have thought that it would, it would have drifted away from the pocket, but that didn't happen. This is rack number three. Match is tied up, one game apiece. He let, he let him see the 12, Billy. No? Nope. No, he didn't. He doesn't have the 12. No? <laughs> Pretty close. I don't think he has it. He's got to draw the cue ball back to the top of the stack here. Hopefully he can bank the seven cross table near his pocket. Which he did. Yeah. And now Paggy Lyon is faced with a difficult situation. Two balls in front of DeShane's pocket. Cue ball positioned nicely on the, on the stack. Paggy Lyon has some problems right here. He's got a lot of problems. I think he should start off by taking a scratch here. Moving the four away from the eight slightly. Just take a scratch. He may end up with a good combination. 410. 
because when DeShane steps to the table, if the four is, is, is headed toward the 10, he probably won't know what to do. Just push it a little bit. Just push it. Yeah, get it open. Just like this. That's right. Now the 410 is now now becomes a possibility. DeShane has to defend against that. And also, he has to defend against the shot that where Pagalion can pinch draw off the 4, sending the 10 closer to his pocket. That way he can escape his position. Yeah, Mike's not in a good spot. Taking a scratch. Now, I believe Pag Lyon, if he has the ability to pinch this four ball and elevate, and it requires a really good touch, he can do it. Yeah, well, I think he's trying to kick the seven in. I don't think so. I don't, like this shot. I don't like this shot because even if he leaves distance and leaves him straight in on the 7, he'll pocket the 7 and then bank the 10. I don't think he's going to get the best of this. I, don't, I wouldn't leave the pack right here. He doesn't even have to kick it in, first of all. He's not going to try to kick it in. What's he going to do? Try to go two rails and hit the inside of the 14? That, he'll do that. Yeah, before, yeah, be, uh, kicking it in is very risky because he's still going to leave the bank. I don't like kicking it in. That's exactly no, he what he did. did. What we he said. tried to hit he the 14. He shot at the 14, but he right. didn't get there. Right. And he may have left the uh, the 7. He did. Definitely he's, did. And he's on two fouls, by the way. Yeah, we are playing three in a row. You lose. DeShane is on one foul with a shot. He should go into the bottom of the pack here. Yeah. Play position for the 14 off the pack. Right, but but mo, mo, most importantly, loosen up a couple of balls. He's going too too high. Well, he did that, but the... He's got a problem. He went back of the 12, and now he's found himself in a pretty tough position here. Bad spot. Yes, he's, he may have to give him the 9. If he can give him the 9, carry him off the 10, and freeze him on the 12, he should do that. I think he has that. I think the 9 does go in off the 10. And if the nine goes in off the ten, he can freeze him on the twelve. Yeah. Give him the nine, but get out of the but to get out of this trap in doing so. Yeah, he's got that. Oh, we didn't have to give oh, him the nine. Yeah, I guess not. Mm, that's even better. But now the Shane got even. Paggy Lion minus two. Is he banking this at the five? Yeah, he is. He may have made this. Nope. Yeah, he put it close to the pocket and he snookered him on it. Well, uh, I think the Shane's going to have to uh, softly roll the cue ball underneath the five. Just very softly. Oh, he's, he's elevating. He's going to just stick it out of there. That's the problem with that Sold shot. Sold out the nine. The problem with that shot is there's too many balls on Pagalai inside of the table because an error with the hit is going to be too costly. That was the error. But this is not an easy shot to dig that cue ball out of there. He's going to shoot over the ball. He'd like to hit the 10-1 rail. Wow. Yeah, he's got the 12. He's got the 12. And uh, this is a very difficult cut shot. He doesn't like shooting it, but I'll tell you, he can definitely see the edge of the ball. He can cut balls as thin as any human. And that's what he's going to need to do here, Danny. This is a very, very thin cut shot. He's going to the one if he makes it. He may not because he's using an inside ball here. Oh, the 10 goes too. Yeah, but he didn't make he the He didn't 12. make the ball. Now the same steps to the table with an excellent shot on the red ball because... After contacting the red ball, he's going to open up some balls here. And he has the uh, the ball in the front of his pocket as the insurance ball. He must make this shot because these balls are going to open up mostly for Packy Lion. Made a good shot. Yep. 
I don't believe the 8 and the 10 are lined up for his pocket. He'll take a look at it. Of course, he doesn't even have a shot. He may have to bank the 4 into the 14. I don't know. Does he have the combination 15 he, into the 2? It looks like he's got a shot on the 14. He's got to play pretty good position on the 7. Yeah, he's got to go two rails. It's not easy here. Oh, he might have got there, Billy. i tell you what, he hit that shot. He got very, there. Very, very well. He got there. Now if that combination 8-9 goes, he's falling on it. I think that if he can get to that bottom rail, he's taking a look at it now. Yeah. If he can get to the bottom rail, that shot's there. But he's got to elevate over the over the six ball. If he has a natural angle to get to the side rail. Oh, he's getting to the side that'll rail. That'll be ideal. He got to it. Yeah, he missed he, the yeah, ball. Yeah, he got though. to it because he overcut the ball. I'll tell you, now the eight goes for Peg Lyon. It certainly does. He couldn't afford to miss it, especially with the way he did, leaving a bank combination okay, for Peg he, Lyon. He's complaining about something. He does have the combination here. Oh, yeah, he wanted to know why a ball was being spotted. That's what they were talking about. I was informed of that. He's got the seven into the nine and eight. What's he giving him, a beer? <laughs> Is he trying to get him drunk? That's against the law. Must not get your opponent drunk. He's going to make this. Still he, has to be hit pretty good. He's going to make it. It's not a gimme. Yeah, but he's going to make it. And make it, he did. Yeah. Got a good chance to run some balls now. Well, he's got to do, it's a lot of work here. N nothing goes around the foot spot. All those balls are clogged. Well, how about shooting the combination and going into the pile a little bit? No, you can't afford to do that. The, uh, the nine ball is too far off the rail. Oh, yeah, you can miss it. Yeah, it ain't hanging. He can go to the four. That's what he did. Still uh, kind of confusing to me. I'm not really a great ball runner. How he's going to attack this. Maybe you have a, an idea how he's going to go about well, this. Well, he's going to shoot the four. I don't know if he wants to go into the balls right now. He could go backwards for the six and the one. I like that. Yeah, that's where he's going. Excellent speed, Danny. Yeah, perfect. He's got the six. Could he kill it? Yeah, he looks like he's got enough he angle may, to kill it. He may be able to draw it in back of the 11. I mean, if he has the angle to do that, maybe he'll do that because it looks like... Yeah, he might. You're right. That's another ball to get. Yeah. I don't know if he has the angle to hold no, it for the one. That's dangerous anyway, Billy. You're going towards that pocket to get to that 11. Yeah. I think you, you go to the one next. Can, yeah. he, can he hold it? I think so. Yeah, it's pretty full hit. He will have a shot. Yeah, he's got a shot at it. Now he can go to the seven. I, I don't think, think the five or the 15 go, or the three. I think he's gonna have to go straight across table for the seven. I can't afford to go down. I don't think he can afford to go down. Oh, he's got a lot of room to go past the pile. He'll have a pretty good shot on the seven here. I mean, straight across table. I like it straight across table. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He'll have a good shot. Oh, I don't like going into the pile. I don't either. I don't. Well, he's got a bank on the two here, Dan. You think so? Yep. He's got a bank on the two. Yeah, he does. But he it's does. a little off angle. Well, I'm kind of curious how he's going to play it. He may follow the cue ball into the three. I think he went into the pile prematurely. Back at the 10. Yeah. Got a good chance to make this. He's going upstream. Look how good he hit that. A uh, little short. <gasps> little oh, short. Oh, he tried to body English it in. Okay, we'll get a ball count here. Deshane has two balls. Peggy Lyon has five. This is rack number three. Peggy Lyon broke the balls in rack number three. So if he goes on to win this rack, he'll take a 2-1 lead, but DeShane will open him up in rack number four. But Alex will still get one more break. 
Yes, if it goes hill hill, Peggy Line will be breaking for the championship. Yeah. What's he shooting? It looks like he's cutting yeah, at the yeah. five here. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's mad at your backer. That's the end of you. Well, the, uh, probably the reason why he did that is because after pocketing the 10, he was going to give him a free bank on that 13. And he's already, then he would have been trailing six to nothing, and uh, Peggy Lang would have been shooting a bank towards the pocket, a free bank. He didn't like that. I mean, shooting there was high risk, but uh, it carried a pretty good reward. Well, he needs one. Alex is going to be on the hill. Alex is on the hill, leading two to one in a race to three, but the Shane will be breaking in rack number four. Right. Yeah, the Shane's definitely a shooter. Uh, you know, if, if it comes down to shoot or safe and it's, it's close, you can bet he's shooting. And when he's trailing by a significant margin like he was, you can really bet he's shooting. I mean, I really can't fault him for that. No. You're right. The only chance he's got is to shoot at his pocket. He, he can't outthink Alex. I watched him break the balls in this match against Bustamante, and they were really opening up nicely for him. The, time, the last time he broke the balls, they didn't. And once again, they oh, didn't. Oh, good break. No. Not real good. No. It's not the kind of a break that he needed. He wanted to open up the balls a little bit better than that. And now he's giving Peggy Line an out off the one to drop underneath the nine and eight. But he has to make sure that he protects the ten ball. He doesn't want to uh, shame to see the ten to back across corner. Of course, the nine, the eight and the ten don't go, so he could come off the ball near the side pocket too. He's just going to stick him in the stack. Looks that way. Put another ball near his pocket. It's looking worse for DeShane now. Okay, now DeShane has to kick a long rail to the three here. He's got a big ball, a big area here, a lot of margin for error if he kicks toward the three. I'm sure he'll shoot this shot. I'm not sure. I think he should shoot this shot. Yeah, but this is, yeah. This is the, he's going to shoot it. Yeah, this is the only shot he really has. And there's a lot of margin for error here. Yeah, he doesn't have to make it. No, a lot of margin for error. He pinched it. I don't know he about made it. it. Yeah, he made it. He made it. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's pretty good. Absolutely. Of course, Didn't he could have dropped between the rail and the ball because he had a, a big ball to do that, a large, a large margin to do that. I don't know what Peggy Lyons is looking at. Maybe he's looking at backing the one on his side and following the cue ball behind the blue two. I don't know if he has the angle to do that. He may not have the angle to do that. Yeah, my, you don't want to leave a bank on the 10. No, from my vantage point, this is a pretty tough, tough spot to be in. See, he, he did that. He, he tried to get behind the two. They used the one to knock the two away, but he wanted to uh, gain that position with the cue ball in that area. Is he looking at the nine? I don't think the nine goes. Well, he looks like he's, it goes. Starting to look like it goes, Billy. Well, it, especially I'm after he made it. Prague line allowed him to shoot that. Now he's looking at the 11. Come on. No, he's looking at no. the 12. What yeah. ball is that? 12. Got to shoot to 12. Uh, yeah. That point of the side pocket. No, he's missing the Dead point. He's the missing action the on point. the cue ball. Oh, he missed the ball badly. Oh, yes, badly. Badly. 
It seemed like it skidded on well, him. Well, let's see if it skidded, you know. What, what, we're going to see that again because... Let's get it close up. Is there a chance to, 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 play, to play this back in slow-mo? Okay, we're going to play this in slow-mo so we can all see the skit. Well, let me tell the people what a skit is. A lot Here we of go. people out there don't know. You cut a ball, it's oh, oh, wow. skidded oh, brutally. Oh, wow, that was horrible. Yeah, that's why you clean the cue ball. The Peggy Lyon should ask for the, for the ball to be cleaned then. Yeah, right now I would do it. Put another ball on the side. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, you going to clean the cue ball? Kenny's cleaning the 12 ball. Maybe he sees something on the ball. Uh, not Kenny, but Con but uh, Howard. Carl. Carl. Excuse me. Can't wait. Yep. Alex is not liking things right now. Here's John Mars giving Alex a massage. And Van Boning sitting next to Mars. Probably telling Alex what to do. <laughs> <laughs> just joking, just joking. <laughs> Carl has done a pretty good job in cleaning the... Uh, in that, the Oh, he cleaned a couple balls, didn't he? Yeah. Cue ball was the main thing. Well, you want to do something off the two and let him have the 12? Oh, he's not going to do that. I know it, but what do you do? Not going to do that. Hmm, interesting. I don't think he should do this. He's going to come off the eight. Try yeah, to go I don't like coming side. off the eight. I, don't, I wouldn't like coming off the eight if I didn't have to use the bridge. I'm going to take a really uh, a shot at this. If it comes off the eight, I'm saying he loses the match right here in this game. Yeah, he'll leave a bank on the two. I think that if he comes off the eight, he's going to lose the match. In this game. He may not even get back to the table. Better not do this. Okay. Here we go. Well, he was pretty careful with it. He's looking to see if the 10 goes off of the 1, but I don't think it does. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little too thin. Yeah. It's not going to get the back up, even with a high ball. Yeah, Alex doesn't have much. I kind of like kicking underneath the eight two cushions. Even if you hit the eight going in, you'll be okay. Oh, he's going to put him in the stack. Not bad. Huh. Yeah, that would have helped. Yeah, that would have blocked some pass for the cue ball. Well, if he can get in there, if he can bridge comfortably, he can send it up a ball toward his pocket and draw into the 12, if that's the 12, and not run the risk of giving up anything. His shot's there. If he can bridge comfortably, if he's trying to do, he moved to seven. He uh, notified Kanowitz and said, I moved to seven. Okay, fine, get back over it again. If he's trying again. Very difficult position to shoot from. Yeah, he didn't do much with that. 
That wasn't bad. Yeah, I mean, he's over the top. I think he can bank at the two. Let him have the combination. Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, Peggy Line's playing a little chess with him. You know, he's figuring that, listen, okay, I'll move this pawn and see what you do. And there really isn't much left for him. He can draw off the 15, I believe, to the side rail. I don't know if he can hit the cue ball low, Billy. Give me an overhead, please. I, I think he can draw here into the eight and draw the cue ball back over here. Oh, he's following it. I don't like that shot. He's daring him. I don't like that shot. Yeah, probably you like it less. You don't do that with Peggy Lyon. That's one thing you don't do with Peggy Lyon. Now he's giving him a smorgasbord of shots. He has the two. He has the, the, uh, the purple ball. He's got a couple good shots there. And as well as he pockets balls, and as forgiving as these pockets are, I'd be really surprised to see this Shane make another appearance back at the He's table. shooting to 12. Well, now he's shooting to two. Yeah, he figures to hit it pretty good. House pretty good, Billy. <laughs> you don't give Pagaline this kind of an opportunity. He didn't get the angle off the, uh, I believe it's, what is that, the 12 the next That's ball? That's the 12, yeah. Okay, then he won it. Maybe he wanted a shot on the 10 next. He hit the two too softly. Now he's got to shoot the 12. Now this shot is very difficult because it doesn't carry natural position. This is a difficult shot. Just don't miss it. He's not going to miss anything, Billy. And when you shoot a shot as softly... He's got the 10 now. Yeah, he's got the 10. And when you shoot a shot as softly as he just did that carried the angle that that shot carried... That's an achievement there. It's a big, big task, and he did well. The play position for the four next. Now, if he gets right on the four here, he could run out. Now, he went into the four. Well, he's got the one. The six goes. He can go two rails to the six, I believe. How about the combination? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, how about the, the combination may be good. Huh? At the, uh, the I believe five, it's the 5-14. Well, go to the six first. Well, if the six goes, okay. Oh, it goes. But he went watch backwards out, watch to out, the Watch out, though. You don't want to go, over go the behind the four. He hit the four. Okay, now he has the combination or the seven if it goes. He's playing the combination. This will give him natural position. Yeah. This match is over, Billy. You don't... He needs three. What you don't do is you don't pull the mask off the Lone Ranger and you don't give Peg and Lion <laughs> shots like that. Well, what about Slim? <laughs> he needs two. He's got six. The match is over. He needs one to win the match and win the tournament. This is a walk in the park for this man. That's all it is. A yeah. simple walk in the park. He's having a lot of fun out there. When he's playing his best pool, it's nothing but fun. Yeah! <laughs> you gotta give it to him. Huh? Look at him. You gotta give it to him. He won. He won twelve out of thirteen games to close out to close out this tournament. He played awful solid. He didn't miss anything. But anyway, I think we're going to close right now, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. We got all the nine ball yet to play, and we got some straight pool to play, too. I don't know when we're doing that, but tomorrow will be all nine ball. Oh, what's he going to do? Look, a trick shot here. Break the table. He was playing the eight. He's so that one of the few balls he's missed. <laughs> he got to chalk up his feet. All right. All right.
We appreciate everyone supporting AccuStats and joining us for this final match. And now we're into the nine ball segment of the tournament. You know, stop by tomorrow and watch some, uh, some nine ball being played. Uh, for, the, for Danny DiLiberto, this is Bill and Cadona saying thanks a lot for supporting AccuStats. We'll see you tomorrow.